You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be tackling a huge, huge mess, really a disaster upstairs. I definitely have to humble myself and just, we're gonna be putting it all out there. I know a lot of you deal with the same thing, so just be prepared <laughs> when you see the mess. Um, first, I'm gonna be starting in my bathroom. This is a high traffic area because we do um, come in and out of here a lot throughout the day all of us um, especially uh, my girls they come in here Mona uses this bathroom a lot and it just tends to get cluttered very quickly so I wanted to get things put away and do a deep cleaning in here <laughs> So I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys. I have been struggling so much to keep on top of everything. I feel like I'm behind on everything and my house has just been such a mess and I just feel like I've lost my way. You know, I think, think we all go through these little ruts and I've definitely been going through one for a while now. So I'm trying to rein it back in and find that motivation. I feel like the fall's helping. I don't know why, <laughs> but it's finally kind of getting cool here. And I just feel like it is helping, especially with the uh, time change. I know it hasn't changed yet, but it's getting darker earlier, which helps with our nighttime routine. It just helps get the kids to bed earlier. It makes them more tired. It. I just honestly love when it gets dark earlier, especially having kids. <laughs> so... One thing that I used to do all the time was write notes and have a plan and I would, you know, kind of write down what I wanted to do for the entire week. So to really rein things in and to keep me on track and on focus, I wrote a weekly cleaning schedule and I laminated it and I'm going to try to stick to that as much as possible. That way on those days, I'll focus on those specific things and that way throughout the week I'm touching all of these areas that I've been neglecting. I just feel like I've been like the house has been a mess and I don't like a mess and I've just been kind of running around the house trying to get all this stuff done and I'm going in a million directions and then you know when you have kids they're talking to you and distracting you and you have to stop a million times and I just feel like I'm not getting anything done. <laughs> so. I kind of thought about it and I was like, okay, I'm running around doing all this stuff. It feels like nothing's getting done. So if I at least have a plan for every single day, I will know to focus on that area, get that done. And then if I have time, I can go do something else, um, clean something else, get ahead 
whatever it is or tackle anything else that maybe I wrote on my list or things that I've been wanting to do. Um, so that's what I've been working on and I would love to know what motivates you guys and what you're struggling with and how you kind of overcome that because I think as women we just are going in a million directions and it can be so hard to just stay on track and like just even be able to concentrate sometimes when you have the kids talking to you or they're bickering or just whatever it is um, it, there's just so much going on and we are pulled in a million directions especially when we're just trying to complete one task <laughs> you know so anyway let me know what you guys are struggling with and how you're overcoming it because you guys are so helpful to me and I love all of your tips and how you deal with things and it's just so helpful to hear different ways uh, to deal with things and to overcome things because we just we all need that support we all need help love this cleaning stick for your bathroom it is amazing it's really nice to use this like on the tub and the tub walls I do go in there every few cleanings and just do it with my hand just to kind of get in there a little deeper but this you know if you're just trying to do a quick clean but you know deep clean it it really works well and I like to use it with the Comet because the Comet just kind of adheres to the tub and to the walls and you're able to scrub it really well with this brush if you're just using the brush it does have little uh, pads or wipes that you can put on there if you wanted to use those but I just I like to use it with the Comet and then afterwards I clean it off and it just saves my back a lot of pain and I feel like I'm cleaning my bathroom walls a lot lot more now that I do have it you take my Just be enough. 
A lot of you guys have asked me how our dog is doing. We got a dog a few months ago in the summer, puppy, and this is what I was doing with him yesterday. I give him a bath once a week and he's so good at, at getting baths and he's just a high maintenance dog with all his fur. Um, not in itself, but his fur is very high maintenance. It's got to be trimmed and blown out and this was how he positioned himself yesterday and it was so funny after I dried his hair I had to trim up his hair like around his eyes and his face and his chin and ears and all that but it was so funny to me that he just sat in this sink the entire time and was just as happy as could be um, he likes a lot of attention and he likes to be touched and snuggled so this is really in his element which is so funny because a lot of dogs don't like this and he, he's just such a cute dog and I'm gonna share at the end of the video some of his training that he has undergone we sent him to a board and train for two weeks and I just thought I would show you some of the stuff that he's learned uh, because I do I take little videos with my camera and I send them to his trainer and she loves to see like his progress and how he's doing and how he's kind of keeping up with things. Nothing more to say, let's just waste away. One more time is all we need. A bit of truth to face, not that innocent. I'm a sucker for your love Okay, so this is the disaster space that I was telling you about. It was so bad. I had been wanting to get up here for a while and the kids were telling me that they were cleaning it, but their version of clean and my version of clean are two very, very, very different things. <laughs> I do threaten them sometimes. I'm like, if you don't figure out how to clean it, I'm going to make you watch my cleaning videos and then you'll know how to clean it. <laughs> so... Anyway, I finally got up here and I know a lot of you guys have dealt with this and if you don't have kids and you have are going to have kids in the future, this is something to expect when you do have kids. Um, at least one time in your life it will happen and yes, there's been so many times when I've said I would never let this happen and it does because we're all human and it just does. It's just that's just life especially with with boys but anyway what I do what I find easiest in this situation to clean is to kind of pick up all the trash any bowls any plates I try to gather the clothes and pile them up and then I basically just get my broom and I sweep everything up into one giant pile and then I um, kind of go through the pile that way and we kind of declutter it and um, pick up whatever needs to get picked up and throw away anything else that needs to get thrown away and when I was in here I stepped on so many Legos I my knee went into Legos it was so crazy I was threatening to throw away all the Legos if I ever came back into this room and it looked like this and <laughs> it's not my finest moment but I tell you like seeing a mess like this you you would just be you know surprised at the things that can come out of your mouth you're just like oh my gosh you guys are supposed to be keeping this room clean and this is not clean <laughs>
If you guys have boys, let me know how you handle the Lego situation. That blue thing on the bed right there is actually a Lego mat. So if you use it, it works. But if you don't use it, it doesn't work. <laughs> and my kids don't use it. Um, so basically it's just a mat that you put on the ground and you dump your Legos in the middle of it and then you can just tie it up. Like it all just strings up and all the Legos go into it and it's like a giant bag. And I bought that a long time ago and they just, they just don't, they don't like to use it. Um, Makai likes to sit at his desk and play with the Legos and he's recently gotten into doing stop motion with the Legos, which has been really fun for him and I'm actually excited for him and proud of him at, with his creativity with it and it's just kind of given him a different hobby because I know you know in today's day and age like all, the kids just want to be on video games or they want to watch TV or you know play a tablet whatever it is so when they do want to actually play and not be on a device I feel good about that, you know, and I know that it has consequences like the Lego mess <laughs> and we're working on that, but, um, yeah, it does. I do just appreciate when they're actually doing something that doesn't involve a device. I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin Cause we're still sleeping in my head I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin So right now my kids share a room and we're hoping to buy a house eventually um, and you know where they'll all have their own room or at least my oldest can have his own room. I would love for him to be able to just ha have his own space and we've I don't know we don't have any plans right now to move but we've just been looking and trying to research and the market is so crazy um, some of the houses that we looked at were like a hundred thousand dollars less like just a year ago and it just feels like all of these houses have gone up so much in the last few years and I don't know if you know, I just want to make the right choice, basically. I don't want to buy at the wrong time. I don't want to buy and then, like, something happens and all the houses go down. It's just, it's scary, but it is kind of crazy right now because the world is so just nuts. You know what I mean? Like, we're living through so many things that a lot of us have never, ever lived through. Um, most of us, you know? 
I mean, definitely the virus none of us have lived through. And it's just, it's just insane, you know? So definitely just trying to pray about it. And I want to do what, you know, God wants me to do. And that's definitely a lesson that I've learned throughout my life is that you have to pray about it a hundred percent. Um, because I want to do what God wants me to do. I think I've gone through my own path when I was younger and you realize that, um, that's not the way to do things. And I've, I've learned that lesson the hard way. I'm sure we all have. And especially a decision this big, I definitely want to, you know, pray about it and make the right decision. So anyway, that is the hope for our future. But for right now, the kids are, they're doing good sharing a room. Um, it gets messy and that is the struggle. And um, we're trying to overcome that the best we can. And hopefully if I can get my self organized a little better and just kind of get my motivation back, um, my house will be in better shape. But I know we all deal with this and we just all go through different ruts and well, you know, if you haven't, I'm, I'm sure it's coming. I hope not, but, um, you know, life is hard and especially when we're pulled in so many directions and you deal with mom guilt. I know for me, I deal with mom guilt. I, I feel like we all do. You just have a little piece of that guilt. Like, okay, I spent all day cleaning and, you know, the kids wanted me to go outside and play and I didn't, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's definitely hard because you're pulled in so many directions, but I just want you to know that you're not alone and we all deal with it. And, um, that's why I have this channel. I have this channel so we can support each other and, um, just know that we're all kind of dealing with these insane things, whether it's an explosion of a kid's bedroom or an explosion of Legos. Um, we're all dealing with something um, in some way and I hope that we all can support each other and just help each other get through it and you know just work together and give each other tips and that's really why I love being a part of this YouTube community and all of you because you guys are all so sweet and so amazing and you just I don't know you guys lift me up so much and I appreciate it every single time I post a video Chopper, sit. Down. Good. Good job, Mona. <laughs> you went super far. <laughs> Good. 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 
Good. Wait. Okay, Chopper, come. Come. Good boy. Good. That's a good puppy. That's a good puppy. Yeah. Okay, Chopper, heel. Okay, sit. Good. Aw, you brought me a flower. You're so sweet. Thank you. You're just the sweetest girl ever. You ready to go for a walk? Yeah. Okay. Sit. Okay, heel. Good. Good. Oh, lost my earbud. Sit. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. What a helper you are. Are you my helper? Yeah. Yeah. Sit. Good. Good boy. You're so good. Okay, thank you.